Look at this ensemble. Tell me what. Tell me about it. Ah, uh, let's see. It's a lot. It's busy. It's patterns. A lot of things clashing on each other. Because I'm all. My artwork is all about the clash that exists between the working class and the ruling class. So I feel like I have to represent that clash in patterns, but clashing in a in a in a way that propels us forward. Well, you're always propelling things forward, which I love. Uh, I'm a Virgo. I mean, you, you make something like that. I don't think you end up expect to end up at the Independent Spirit Awards, but it's a good place for you. Yeah, you know, it's um, you know, I think that that it falls in line with the Independent Spirit because 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 of Sorry to Bother You, um, I had a little bit of weight to be like, okay, nobody's the expert at this, you know. L let me do my thing. Right. So even that being said, there was a lot of compromise, as there always is. But, um, yeah, so I think there's an independent spirit in the sense that we we try to buck what is normally told to us, like what we could do in front of the camera with the effects, practical effects, even though we use v, uh, VFX as well. But we, so we buck those, those things we were told we can't do. We were buck, we buck things that we were told we can't do with story and with content and what we were aiming to do with it. And I, I really think um, that's how art should be and, and that we have to buck not only what they tell us that we can do in terms of form, uh, process, and content, but we have to buck who they tell us we can be as artists because we're supposed to be connecting with what's going on. All the people watching our show, they're engaged in struggling to survive. They're engaged in those things. Right now, people are engaged with thinking about terrible things that are happening in the world, including atrocities happening in Gaza, to which, you know, even the, the ICJ has found it officially plausible that acts of genocide are occurring. And in the place where everybody's got the loudest voice, you're not going to hear many people talk about that, right? You're not, because, the, because we've been trained about the way things are going, and a lot of people uh, are worried, you know, we got an industry where people are worried about, you know, somebody farting around the wrong person and them not giving you a job or something like that, right? So this is not the place where people take bold stands, which, like, I don't think my work is really that bold except in comparison to what we're told we, we're supposed to do. Same, same thing with what I'm saying right here. I'm saying the truth that, you know, and, and it will guarantee to be thought of as controversial that I say that the International Criminal Court of the International Court of Justice has found that it's plausible that acts of genocide are happening in Gaza. And I'm also saying that as artists, we need to be part of helping movements that are trying to stop it. It is a little frustrating because we don't know how the hell do we stop something like this. Um, but I'll tell you what, being scared to say something about it is the opposite of what will help. Yeah, it has emerged as this controversial subject that people don't want to touch for fear of backlash. Yeah, but you know, like I said, people are fear. People are afraid of backlash for telling executives they want an extra close-up over here, right? People are afraid of backlash for uh, saying they want to cast this person instead of that person. So we're, we, you know, there's a culture of fear that, you know, I just kind of I come out of music, so I do it differently, like. If we can't work together, we can't work together. You know, that's 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 what it is. So I think, I think right now though is growing. You know, artists, uh, directors, actors, writers are wanting to say something about what the world is, and I'm hoping that more of it will happen now as opposed to ten years later when people are making movies about what's happened. Can I ask you a question too? The other thing, I'm speaking of fear, um, I, I've been speaking to some filmmakers just about the threat of AI and Sora and that stuff. Tell me what's your take on, on, on that? I think AI sucks just from a consumer point of view, right? And, uh, you know, um, the things, you know, that, so, so not even from an ethical point of view of it's actually stealing pieces of things from people and just shuffling it together, but it makes me depressed. It makes me depressed, and I, and I think for most people it does. It's not anywhere near something that anybody wants to watch.
You know, the stuff that they show, and let's be clear, a lot of stuff that they show us that they say, oh, this is this AI Wes Anderson thing. It's really, it's really just VFX, right? And maybe they use some AI to make the, the head turn a little bit. And then they're like, this is an AI created thing. It's because they're publicizing the, this stuff. But, you know, I, I, I'm not in fear of it. I, I, you know, I don't, I don't think it will replace people. I think there might be something somebody, you know, 10 years from now, somebody will try to make an AI movie and it's going to suck. And that's about it. You know, yeah, yeah. And there'll be a bunch of companies that are like, we're only AI company, and they get investors. There's going to be somebody like that that gets, a, you know, billions of dollars in investment saying that they are going to do that. And they're going to, the people that invest are going to be suckers. And they're, they're going to, you know, it's going to be just like, you know, it's going to be j just like, uh, you know, uh, whatever you call the fake money, digital shit, whatever you call it. The, the, the next new thing that happens uh, uh, what do you what do you call that? I don't. Know. I already forgot what it's called. You know, well, you know what it is. Where everybody was telling us that we were supposed to buy it, crypto. Crypto. 